Congratulations on the victory. You've had a few minutes to digest it. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel all right. You know, I'm, I'm very happy that I got the, got the victory, uh, especially after, you know, having COVID and stuff. I didn't, didn't know how my body was going to respond out there. So uh, I wasn't too, you know, happy with the, especially the first round of the fight. Uh, couldn't find my timing or anything like that. But uh, the further the fight went, I managed to change my, my approach and uh, get the fight to the ground and uh, do what I do best. Did you feel anything from the COVID, or was it okay? Yeah, uh, hard to say. It, it's impossible, you know, that I, I wasn't in my best shape in there, for sure. Uh, maybe I could have had a little bit higher pace if I didn't have COVID. I don't know, man, but uh, uh, hard to say. Uh, didn't feel too bad. Did you, it seemed like, you talk about the cardio, it seemed that you outlasted him, right? He seemed to slow down, especially uh, towards the end of the second round and uh, when it turned in the third. Did you know that he was going to come on strong and then start to fade? Yeah, but originally I, I knew that. And, uh, you know, for me to have a high, high pace in the fights is usually always uh, good for me. But I didn't know because of the sickness this time. Uh, but I do know that even if I don't have the cardio in place, I always have my heart and I would know that I can dig deep. When you say in the first round you couldn't get your timing and stuff, and you've obviously you were thinking about the COVID, during the first round, you start thinking like, oh, shit, is this, is this the COVID that's affecting me or what's going through your mind? No, I'm just like, man, where, where is he? You know, I'm trying to find my jab. He's finding his. You know, he starts to hit me. I can't hit him. Uh, so I understood that, okay, I, I need to pressure a little bit more. I, I need, my corner said to me, you need to be more active. You can just, can't just wait for him, you know. So put a little bit more pressure and, uh, you know, get him closer to the fence and in the clinch. So that, that, that was my adjustment. Cool. We came in with the heat, like a wood fire oven. When would you like to get back in there? Uh, you know, it depends on uh, when I have a good opponent. So, uh, but I, I want my, one more fight this year for sure. So, uh, if any of the big uh, big guys are, are ready for me uh, this year, I'm, I'm up for it. Congrats! Thank you very much. When you were trying to get over the hump, where you felt like just things weren't maybe clicking. Was it something that the corner said to you that helped get, get it forward, or was it something just mentally that you had to get to, to a certain point in your head to overcome it? It was both. Uh, they said to me, you need to be more active, man. You can't just wait there, you know. Start to throw things, start to faint, start to pressure. And, uh, you know, I was just like, what am I doing, you know? I wanted so bad to find that perfect timing and just start to hit him, you know. But, no, uh, I needed to mix things up and uh, put the pressure on him. Did you get to, so does that get you some confidence? I mean, uh, knowing that you were going in there with some questions and what your cardio and everything would be, do, do you now feel like that's, that's in the past now, that now you don't have to worry about it? Or is it still that you're going to go back, look at your performance and, and, and think like, was I not performing at my peak here? You know, or how do you feel about it? Uh, the physical shape is definitely going to be better in, in the future uh, that I know. Uh, but I, I'm not disappointed at that part because that was out of my control. What I'm a little bit disappointed of is my, uh, you know, my my uh, timing in the beginning. There, you know, uh, uh, I wasn't completely ready for that. And uh, if I could do it again, I would have put put a little bit longer combinations and a little bit more aggressive head movements, put some more pressure on him. Uh, that's what I should have done. Looking back to it. Well, I was going to say, we'll talk about that a little bit. What was the game plan for, for Edmund coming in here? Uh, I wanted to build things around my jab, uh, hit him with my jab, and start to work on my other stuff around that, you know. And when I didn't, didn't find it, it was like, all right, so am I support, supposed to start on my other stuff now, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of what I thought, okay, I need to just uh, go in with a little bit more confidence and, and start to get things together here because this fight is uh, slipping out of my hands, you know. <laughs> Well, and, and he seems like he's been one of these guys that has a lot of potential. You know, he's kind of been, his stock has been rising. He seems like a, 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 a contender or somebody that at some point, you know, has a lot of skills. What did you think of his overall ability? Was there anything that surprised you? And did he maybe uh, show you something that you didn't think he was possibly capable of? Uh, not, not really, but uh, he confirmed a few things. You know, as long as you have it, a clean, nice stand-up fight with a little bit of distance in between us, 
that's where he, he, he shines, you know. That's where he is really, really, really good. And he probably is one of the best in the division there. Uh, but when you're roughing things up, you know, and put on a high pace and uh, fighting in all of the areas of MMA, uh, that's where he needs to uh, become a little bit better. So what's the, the immediate plan? Do you go back, do you rest a little bit? Do you jump right back into the gym? What's, what's the next step right after this? Uh, you know, get back, rest a little bit, and start to train again. I'm longing for, for the training, and uh, yeah, I can't wait, wait to be, get back in there and uh, work towards uh, new goals. Is there any particular person? You know, I know a lot of people, not necessarily calling out what, you know, your path to the, to the title or anything, but are there other fighters that you're hoping to maybe challenge yourself that you think, you know, that you've never had a chance to get in there and fight with? Yeah, you know, I want to be fighting guys like uh, Robert Whittaker. I would love to fight Paulo Costa. Uh, you know, the winner of uh, Bronson and Teal could be a potential fight. So, uh, yeah, those, those guys. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, Jack, if you wouldn't mind just uh, kind of expanding a little bit about what you were just talking about with Edmund. Specifically, when he was on the ground, um, you were able to, to kind of have your way down there. Was he making technical mistakes, or how, how, would you, how would you describe his ground game when he was down there? Not big technical mistakes, but I do read the game right. So I, he actually did the, the right things. That's also why I was able to, to read it, and, you know, he, he, he did... Like, in the end there, when he was stuck in the half guard, he tried everything he could to, you know, dig down the hook, to frame, and to uh, hip escape, and all of those uh, things. But as soon as he tried, I punched him, or I regained my position. I, I made it really, really hard for him. So, uh, you know, uh, I think that if he, he just gets a little bit, a few more tools in his arsenal, he will be even more uh, effective. But he definitely has some skills on the ground, that's for sure. And then one last thing for you, when you were mentioning potential opponents, and uh, Luke Rockhold has expressed a desire to come back, and um, he says he's kind of looking for the right fight. Is that one that would interest you, or you got your eyes kind of set higher than, than Luke right now? Well, you know, he has been away for so long, so I don't know, but he's, you know, former, you know, he, yeah, he, he, he might be an interesting guy. I have to think a little bit about that, but uh, he has been gone for a long time, so maybe he's not very relevant right now. Uh, I would prefer that he fought someone else first, and uh, you know, if he's st still in the game, you know, still up there, uh, I would love to fight him. Thank you.